first thing that I have learned in my 30s so far is how your finances will fluctuate. I really, really thought that once when you get into your 30s, your finances will be amazing, especially with me living a minimalist lifestyle, not spending my money stupidly, things like that. I generally thought that things were gonna be great. I was gonna be able to have multiple savings accounts and be able to max out my Roth IRA before the end of the year. And, and some things in life just don't go as according to plan. I really didn't think that my YouTube channel wasn't gonna do well anymore. I know that sounds so sad and drastic, but the online world has changed. It's more fast paced and also YouTube doesn't pay as much anymore, unfortunately. So as of right now, I am looking for a full-time part-time job. It hasn't been easy because I've been out of the work field for four years. So I've been doing this for four years full time and I do feel very, very lost with my finances, with my career choice. Like I feel extremely lost. Like all I have is a high school diploma. So I'm just in a weird funk financially and I just feel like a failure half the time. But I'm learning that your finances will fluctuate no matter what age you are. You could be in your 40s and 50s and lose your job that you've been at for 30 years. So I've just been watching and reading a lot of articles of people that have been feeling like I've been feeling because with this whole influencer and content creator world, you don't see the reality of some of these content creators and influencers making far below minimum wage which is what I'm going through right now. Once when I started to read other articles and get out of that whole YouTube world, cause no one is like honest on here. Well, at least I haven't seen anybody honest about their income and living off of this small income. I just started reading other articles and, and just seeing if this is completely normal at this age, because like I said, I was feeling very, very alone for the longest time. So over the past year, I'm happy that I've learned that this too shall pass and no matter what age we are at, your finances will fluctuate. The best thing that you can do when you are making good money is instead of spending it on material items you don't need, try to save that money. Put it in multiple savings accounts when you are making a decent income. That way, when things happen like this, you are not freaking the heck out. Like your savings can be your backup until you figure it out again. Another thing that I have been learning to do is to let go of anger from my past. I'm not gonna go too deep with this because I wanna keep my past very private. That's another thing, like I'm learning how to be more private than ever, especially online. It was just a very traumatic childhood. So with all of that being said, even though I have been through so much and I technically don't trust people, I'm trying to let my past go in order for me not to go crazy or stay in the past right now. So I'm learning not to have that anger that I had, well, that I once had when I was either in my 20s or in my teenage years. I'm learning to finally let it go. I mean, I definitely need to talk to a therapist. As of right now, you know, with me not having a therapist, I'm trying to let go of all of that anger that I once had and try to make more room for the present in the future. So I just don't wanna be this angry person that lives in the past. I don't wanna be that way anymore. Sorry for like the weird lighting change. It is a partly cloudy day, which is the worst day to film on, but you guys don't technically have to watch me. You can just hear what I'm saying, like a podcast, which is a good thing. Next thing that I have been doing in my 30s is to cherish the little things. So little wins. Um, whether it's a video that gets a lot of views but doesn't make a lot of money but it helps a lot of people. I'm learning to cherish little things like that. Like, oh my God, I helped like 20 people declutter and or like Milo, for instance, like Milo's not having any health issues, knock on wood. I shouldn't even be saying this out loud, but Milo's doing great as of right now. And that's not even a little win for us. That's a big win because Milo has been through so much. For those of you that are new here, Milo is my cat and he's had numerous health problems that have cost us thousands and thousands of dollars I'm always like when I wake up. I'm like, oh my goodness. He went to the bathroom. All right. He's eating great Like that is a win. So I am cherishing the little wins Instead of like, oh, we don't have a house like instead of like feeling down on The big big wins that most people celebrate I'm just looking at it through a different perspective. Like at least we have a roof over our heads. We live in a safe area. Even though it's not where we wanna live forever, I'm just grateful that I can wake up each morning and not be afraid to go to my car or my car is still out there because I have lived in 
very sketchy neighborhoods my entire life. So like I said, just cherishing what I have right now, even though it might be considered small to some people, I'm just cherishing what I have because you never know when something's gonna happen. So cherish the little things that you have right now while you have them. Another thing that I learned and that I stopped doing in my 30s is no free promo. So I wanna say like from 27, when I was 27, when I started my channel, to when I was 31, I was still doing free promo for companies. I was taking nice pictures and I remember the companies reaching out, taking my picture or asking like, can we use your picture for like an ad without any pay, without nothing? Like they would just, I would just give them the, the video or the picture. And also like there was a time where I made a whole entire video and I gave the video to the um, brand and they're like, all right, we'll give you one product for doing the video. I will never ever do that again because that video took me days to edit. It took me like an entire day to film and I had to plan like the scripts, the voiceover, like it came out so, so nice and I didn't get paid for it. I did like the product, but I will never ever do free promo ever again because I've been doing this job for so long. And I used to always think like, I'm not good enough. Like no one's gonna want to hire me to do like a promo or anything. So I'm just gonna do it like, you know, for fun. Some brands were hitting me up saying your pictures are amazing. When my Instagram used to be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, it's not anymore, it's more realistic. They would hit me up and I would just give them the rights to the photo without anything. And I don't do that anymore because I, I've lost out on thousands and thousands of dollars by that one little mistake as a content creator. This one might come off as a little weird, but I was always afraid to cut my hair. I think I learned that from my mom. I remember my mom always saying like, if you cut your hair, it's never gonna grow. But with her saying that and with others saying that, I used to be terrified to cut my hair until I started to like do research and wonder like, why is my hair or why was my hair so stringy and not full? It is a little greasy today, so don't mind it. But my hair is a lot fuller these days because I cut my hair every four months now. I'm actually due for my four month haircut. I will never ever be afraid to cut my hair ever again. I feel like not cutting my hair was making my hair look like crap. And I'm happy that I learned to not be afraid to cut my hair because not cutting was causing a lot of unnecessary damage. And with cutting, it's just, it feels great. It feels a lot lighter and it's healthier. I finally have like a full ponytail. Um, yeah, so for the longest time I was afraid to cut my hair and now in my 30s, I cut it more than ever and I actually get excited to cut my hair. I feel like it's a new beginning every time. Being more organized with my taxes, I had to learn the hard way with this one. When you're self-employed, I didn't know on how detailed your taxes had to be when it came to taking things off that you have purchased for the business in order to pay less taxes. Or I wanna say like the first two years of me doing this job full time, I paid a lot of money with taxes because I wasn't neat with the things that I purchased or anything like that. So I would just pay, I wouldn't claim anything. I would just pay 10 to $15,000 out of pocket. And that's what kind of like blew my savings away in like 2020 around there. 2019. Recently, uh, maybe like last year, I started getting really neat with my taxes. I don't necessarily save receipts. I feel like that's a little too much, but every time I purchase something, I purchase it with my credit card so I can keep track of it at the end of the year. And also I get cash back on every purchase. So it's kind of like a win-win situation. I'm not in credit card debt. I always pay it two weeks before the balance is due. That way the interest doesn't kick in. With using my credit card, it stores all of the history. So towards the end of the year, when taxes is about to come up, let's say a couple months ago I did my taxes, I printed out all those papers, highlighted all the expenses, and that saves me thousands of dollars because I claimed a lot of things. So if I didn't do that, it, it would just, it would have been a mess all over again. So. I'm a lot more neater when it comes to my taxes and 
how I spend my money for the business, what I spend it on. That way I'm not paying an arm and a leg back. Listening is far more important than talking. When it comes to my family members and also my partner, I talk far too much and I have noticed this. What I have been doing lately and what I've been learning is to listen more and then communicate back because talking over people is one rude and not listening is like, it's you're not even having a conversation. You're just being selfish. So that's something that I have been trying my best to do is to talk less and listen more. This is one where I had to learn the hard way and that is what works for someone else may not work for you. And I had to learn the hard way with the whole skincare situation. Last summer around this time, I was using everything. I was doing the Korean skincare routine. I was just using so many products and thinking that like my skin looks amazing, blah, 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 blah. No, once when the fall time came, my skin was freaking out and everything that the dermatologists on, you know, the influencer dermatologists online, um, an actual dermatologist, like everybody was just wrong. Everybody seemed to go off on their experiences with certain products and I just decided to stop everything and give my skin a huge break. And if it feels dirty, wash it with unscented bar soap. If it feels dry, use castor oil. So I did what worked for me. I found out what worked for me instead of going with what everybody else is saying because that wasn't working for me at the end. It actually made my skin worse. And the same thing with hair care. I don't do this anymore, but back in the day, I used to follow, like I wanna say 2010 to like 2015, I used to follow every hair care DIY tip. I used to do like an egg mask way before I was vegan, um, a nutmeg mask. Um, there's so many hair masks that I used to do and my hair was like, Tortured. So even the hair care videos were not helpful for me and I always had to learn the hard way unfortunately So try to keep that in mind that what might work for others might not work for you and That's okay. And the last thing that I have learned in my 30s so far is that change is good for the soul I am that type of person that gets high high anxiety with change especially with this whole new job situation and me just trying to figure out my finances. I have had my fair share of crying. I've had my fair share of wondering what's next. Now I'm learning to embrace change because with no change, there's no growth. Like I said, I'm embracing it and I'm ready for the next chapter in my life regarding my career, things like that. Anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what are the things you have learned in your 30s, 40s, whatever age you are at right now? Let me know the things that you have learned that are helpful for others. Mm -hmm.